Hi, thank you guys. I'm Anki Shoswami and today we will be learning about OpenSpan. OpenSpan is a robotic process automation tool which helps us to integrate desktop application without writing much code. Uh, OpenSpan Studio runs uh, within the Microsoft uh, Visual Studio as an isolated self-design environment or as a plugin to the Visual Studio application itself. So let's get started. I'm going to open my OpenSpan Studio here. This is OpenSpan Studio and it will give you the look and feel of Visual Studio 2010. You can see similarly uh, Solution Explorer, Class View, Property Window, and Object Explorer. So let's create the uh, first project here. So for this demo purpose, we uh, would be automating a calculator. So LC automation. Click on OK. See, it has a similar kind of uh, interface which we usually see in the Visual Studio. So as a first step, we want to trigger our automation on one of the events. So that event could be on the load event of our calculator or any kind of event. So uh, for this demo purpose, we would be adding a window form and we will run this automation on a button click. So select your project here. I'm going to add a new item, window form. So start form. Click on add. You can give any name to your form. Now similarly, you can go to the tool to add a button here. On that button click, we will run our automation. So, run automation. The next thing is we're going to add a label. That will show us the result of to number that we're randomly going to add on the calculator using this automation. And we'll show those results in a text box. And the next step is to establish a link between, a communication link between the open span and our target application. So here our target application is calculator. Now we are done creating our window form and we're going to run our automation on the button quick of this window form. So let's go to the automation page. And uh, before we begin, we need to understand that OpenSpan is entirely based on manipulating the control of your target application. Mm -hmm. By using the three properties like uh, property, event, and method. So while working on OpenSpan, you will repeatedly hear property, event, and methods. So here, we'll go back to the object explorer. And our object is window form and the button. We're going to use this window form's button control. And that particular controls event, that is quick. So let's drag and drop quick event here. So what should next happen when you click on the button of your window form? So now we are trying to automate the calculator. So calculator should open and it should click on the two uh, uh, two numbers and it should add those numbers and display the result on our window form. So this is our target. So uh, to establish the link or uh, communication link between the open span and our target application, we need to add an adapter. So in the open span, you will find some predefined adapters under the tool. So if you are uh, trying to automate like uh, Excel workbook, Microsoft uh, Outlook, or any of the application, it's here. 
then you can choose the connector out of this and this is also called as adapter and the connector. So uh, our application is not listed there so we'll go back to the object explorer and add a new object here. Go to add new item and our object is a windows application. If we are, we are trying to automate something that runs on Internet Explorer, then we're going to choose Web Application. And if you go to the other two, miscellaneous, then you would find some more applications. There are, these are the predefined adapter. If you are trying to automate uh, any application that is listed here, then you should choose these ones. A couple more here. IBM PCOM. Reflection, General DOS, General, General Generic. So our uh, target application is not listed neither in the uh, text adapter or the miscellaneous. So we're going to use the general and uh, calculate is Windows application. So we're going to choose Windows application and give the name of Calc application. Click on Add. So this is our object that is being added here. So the next thing is go to the path property here and if it is a window based application and uh, that application CFP is easily found in the system 32 folder then you can just type the exe name or you can choose to provide the complete path by clicking on this little tiny window here. So our application is already uh, found in the system32 folder. So I just mentioned the calc.exe. And the next thing is creating the control. So we can manipulate those controls and automate our application, our target application. So uh, this window called as a designer window. And in the designer window, we can use to create the control of our target application. So you can go ahead and click on start interrogation. Once you click on the start interrogation, it will uh, pull up your application, your target application. And a little tiny window here with the bull eye. This is called a bull eye. And say, for example, I want to click on a button file so it has created a control so I'll change the name to btn file and if you look at these uh, couple of more information here in the target it will show the control and here are the uh, match rules uh, to identify that particular control and if you see here uh, information that says enable to uniquely identify the control but in that case if you see multiple control displaying in the targets uh, window then it means we need to manually create the multiple rule or the match rule to uniquely identify that one particular control that we are trying to manipulate or trying to use so here is already one control so we don't need to worry we can go ahead and create another control or sometime what happen if you use that bull eye, it won't be able to identify the controls uniquely or even it won't be able to identify those controls. In that case, you can go to Windows, click on List Control and you can explore to all the way and here you can find all the controls that is available on your target application. Choose any of the control, click on highlight. So here you can see four. So if I click on it says one. This one is four. So let's choose to create. Okay, so let's choose to create a control of four, button four. So this is another way we can use to create the control. And let's go back. 
again you can use your drag and drop it has created the control for add button and the next button that we use that we are going to use is equal to get the result and the another control that we are going to use is to grab the result Here we go. as far as we see only one control in the target window then we don't need to worry about this little a red color warning message is just displaying because it won't be able to find a one match to uniquely identify this control so, so for this particular control it has uh, used three different uh, match rules to uniquely identify so we are done creating uh, all the control so just to make sure all the controls are correctly created you can identify by uh, seeing this uh, little tiny uh, green tick it means all the control were uniquely created and identified so you can stop consideration now go back to your automation form so we already clicked on the button so the next step is click on one number that is four here so the click is this was the event to trigger our automation so once we click on the button it will trigger our automation and, and the next thing is we will fire a method that is perform click on the button 4 so once we press the 4 button the next step is press the add button just drag and drop and the next step is press the next number that is 5 and the next step is to press the equal button now we have pressed all the control that we, uh, we are trying to press on the calculator and now the next step is grab the value of the label control so now we are not sure if the calculation has already been performed or not so to be sure we are going to use the wait for create options wait for create to that particular control so once that control has created what we need we need a property that is called text and this property would be used to display in a forms result text box so what we are trying to do here we just uh, select our control that we need to perform or that we want to manipulate and use the property or event or the method either three of these and if you now if, uh, if you notice on the automation window you will see the two uh, different color of dot two different colors dot here uh, the blue dot indicates for data flow and the yellow dot indicates for process flow so let's connect the process once we click on our forms button it will click on 4 then add 5 then add it, uh, then press equal and then wait for the next result of the populate if it is populated then send the data text data to text control on the form so this is it we are done creating our first automation on open spin and let's run it click on play button and wait for our application and window form to launch we 
Images Blue. And here we see a uh, form and our target application. So once we click on Start Automation, it will automatically press 4, then Add, then 5, then Equal, and grab the result and display the result here in the text box. So here we go. The result is that. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and see you in next video.